In this video, I'm going to show you how you can declare variables in JavaScript and we will also discuss some common data types in JavaScript. So keep watching. So this is the code from our last episode. So I'll just create a new file. I will name it as uh, variables, uh, variables.js. Okay, uh, remember to write .js. It is very important as it tells our editor, code editor, that it is a JavaScript file. So now there are multiple ways to declare variables. First one is where let and const okay these three are the keywords that are used to declare variables there is a slight difference between all those three but all those three just defines variables of different kinds all right so let's use the var keyword okay so var keyword defines variables just like any other keyword so var then a space then the name of your keyword uh name of your variable i'm sorry okay where name one is equals to i will write my name all right Abhinavyas, which is also the name of my channel. Remember that. So that is how you create a variable. Just that and your variables are created. Variables are just memory allocations used to store data at runtime. So they are just containers for data. All right. So now we will use it. We will log it to the console. So console.log. I will write name one. All right. I will write name one and I will save it. Now let's run it. To run it, press control plus tilde, which is the key below your escape key. Then write node. Then a space, then the name of your uh, file. So in my case, it is variables.js. I'll hit enter and it ran. All right, Abhinavyas has been printed right here. So now let's discuss a more about this. All right, I mean creating variables. All right, so we'll write where, all right, name two. I can also declare it uh, pre above and use it after some time. So I will write name two is equals to i will write uh, again my name all right abhin2 so you can use variables in this way too that first of all you declare it and then add the value later on while you code all right so first we'll write console.log name one and i will write console.log and i will write here all right name two so i will run it again we'll write uh, let me do cls node variables.js uh, it ran successfully up in the and in two. So you can use variables in this way too. So now let's do some discussion on where well, let and const. All right. So where is basically a variable whose value can be changed just like you change, just like you saw here, like where name two and then we add the value. And again, you can change the value afterwards. All right. Let is a scope based variable. Let's define a scope based variable. What are scopes? What are scope based variables? We will run in the future videos. All right. And the const keyword defines a constant. All right. Defines simply a constant whose value can cannot be changed. So in case of a uh, war, you could have used const as well. All right. But the value couldn't be changed. So that was the basic difference between well let and const. All right. Uh, you will learn about it more in the future videos where we'll actually tap into the powers of well let and const. All right. It's just anime boy speaking about tap into the powers. Now let's do a discussion about data types. All right. That is important. So anything enclosed between quotes whether it be double quotes, single quotes, whatever is called a string. So this abhinav is a string. This abhinav 2 is a string. But if I write here simply 2, this is an integer. All right. This is a number. This is an integer, whatever you like to call it. Besides number and integers, we also have some data types called undefined. We have undefined. Uh, we have null. We have uh, NAN. All right, NAN is basically not a number short form of this. We have uh, Boolean data types, which are basically true and false. There are many more data types. All right, we will learn about them uh, in the future videos. All right, so all of this code will be on my GitHub. So don't worry, the link is down in the description. All right, you can always check it out from here. Now, if you would like to go further and learn more about JavaScript, then make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you do not miss any of the future uploads of this series or any of my channels all right my channel is all about programming and coding so if you like programming and coding subscribe if you want to learn javascript subscribe all right i'll see you in the next video adios amigos